Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out this week's latest dev channel insider build for Windows 11 insiders who find themselves uh, in that dev channel with build 23570. And once again, not too much really happening in the dev channel, but we do get a couple of changes and improvements. And first of all, our Windows Copilot. Um, in the dev channel for this week can now be used across multiple monitors and that's not the case currently in the stable version so obviously you simply press the copilot button on the taskbar to obviously launch copilot on whichever monitor you want copilot to show on or you can also use uh, the win and c key on your keyboard shortcut to show copilot on the last monitor that it was visible on which i think is quite a nice improvement and something else um, that they have rolled out for Copilot is if you use the Win and T shortcut on your keyboard, uh, if you are using a keyboard, you can use the Win and T keyboard shortcut to put the keyboard focus on the taskbar and navigate to the Copilot taskbar button to show Copilot on any monitor. Now, that's currently in the stable version, as we can see, is not the case. So if I head back to Co, I cannot select Copilot with that um, Win and T shortcut. And that now obviously in the dev channel is an improvement. So if you are using keyboard shortcuts, that may be a nice move in the right direction. So that's the changes and improvements for Copilot this week. And then um, the start menu has received a bit of a change, which I'd actually posted on a couple of days ago. And um, the Xbox Game Bar will now show as just Game Bar um, in the start menu, uh, all apps list. And you'll also see this in settings if you head to your system apps, installed apps list, as I've mentioned in a previous video. So that's available now in the stable version and also the dev channel. And um, this change will come through a Game Bar update via the Microsoft Store. And that has already rolled out um, for the stable version, that update to and from the Microsoft Store. Then just to mention a couple of fixes, there's not many. Um, if you do find yourself in the dev channel, um, uh, they fixed a few issues which could lead to hangs when launching File Explorer. And I, at this stage with Windows 11, I think any fix that rolls out uh, that improves the performance of the File Explorer is a nice move in the right direction. Um, they also fixed an issue, heading back to the Start menu, where apps sometimes weren't sorted into the correct location in the Start menu or apps list when using the Japanese display language. And they also fixed an underlying search crash in the last few builds. So if you had any search issues, that has been addressed. And then heading to the settings once again, uh, they fixed an issue with the home page in settings. Um, and this home page has also rolled out already, as many of you will know by now, with the Moment 4 feature update to Windows 11 version 22H2. And then because it is still early days, we get a couple of known issues and those are those nine issues for this week are to do with Copilot, which obviously Microsoft is still working on. So that's more or less what's new for this week's latest Dev Channel Insider Build 23570. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.